for those that are joining me, uh, happy Friday, uh, good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you're at. Um, as you can see, I haven't been too many too many live streams, but while we all get ready to go out tonight, to go to our fancy parties and go to the bar and get intoxicated and forget about about work, you know there there are there are men and women overseas that allegedly are fighting for freedom. Uh, for those that have uh, that have family members, service men and women that are currently serving, and including former military, I strongly advise you. Uh, to forward or tag them uh, regarding this live stream. Uh, as we sleep, like we always do as Americans, and we beat our chests about the red, white, and blue, and how great we are as a nation, uh, we forget to read uh, congressional bills, Senate bills, public law, congressional hearings, uh, all this that pertains to the United States of America, to the Republic. And at the end of the day, these criminals in Washington, D.C., including your legislators, do not discriminate. What I mean, is they do not discriminate. They can care uh, less about you, either if you're white, brown, black, Hispanic, uh, Puerto Rican, uh, Native American. They don't care because at the end of the day, they're coming in after two things, your minerals and your money at the expense of our military. Uh, so this is why it's imperative. Uh, for, for those that have been following me for a long time, uh, to go ahead and tag all servicemen and women that are currently active and former military members, including those that participated in Desert Storm, as I'm going to break it down, and I have broken it down in previous live streams. Uh, we all know about uranium. Simple fact that we know that Ron Wyden from the, senator, the corrupt senator of Oregon is tied to the Uranium One which uranium-1 is tied to Russia, which is uranium tied, tied to um, uh, the Clinton Foundation and tied to John Podesta. Also to uh, the former FBI director, James Comey, including Robert Mueller, including the former director of Oregon, Greg Brentsing, uh, the one that transfers uranium overseas and worldwide, including to our enemies, which is an act of treason. But you won't hear this from your congressman or your senator or your, or, your, or your state representatives. Because at the end of the day, they all have money tied to Wall Street. And as long as they have the minerals tied through Wall Street, like D.E. Shaw, which is an investment corporation, or how about Merrill Lynch, uh, they can care less. So at the end of the day, it's up to you, the American people, to inform and educate the military that are currently active and those that were, uh, that did serve. Uh, our former military that did serve in Desert Storm or any other war that were affected through the use of uranium. And it doesn't matter because at the end of the way, day, uranium doesn't discriminate. It can be a U-235 or a U-2, uh, what is it, uh, uranium-235 uh, or 238. They, they don't care. Or non-depleted uranium. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Uh, uranium is uranium and still has the side effects of cancer. I didn't say this. I didn't create this. And I didn't fabricate this. Your congressmen, uh, the Department of Energy, which is the DOG, knowingly and willfully knew the contaminations of, of, of uranium. Doesn't matter, highly enriched uranium or depleted uranium. They knew the repercussions that would affect our military, and including what's happening in South Carolina. So you know that leak that's happening in South Carolina, why they're not giving uh, uh, iodine to the residents there uh, where the uranium is being leaked. And then also regarding to Steens Mountain. Don't take my word for it. I'm going to give you four bills. The first bill is re recently, January 24 of 2017, Senate Bill 197, Radiation Exposure Compensation Act. Now, for those that do not understand what that means, define or look up the definition of compensation. Compensation means and is defined in the Black Law Dictionary as if you are bodily harmed, the United States government will compensate you, meaning give you money for the radioaction, for the radioactive that you contaminated during the transfer or, or the extraction of uranium. I didn't say this. Again, I'll, I'll read it uh, January 24 of 2017, Senate Bill 197, Radiation Exposure Compensation Act. In addition, it goes hand in hand with a 2000. Energy employees compensation illness. Why the two thousand? Why is it two thousand such uh, 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 dates so important? 
because that's when Bill Clinton, under the Steens Mountain, under the Steens Mountain Act, compensated or allocated three quarters of a billion dollars, as I stated in my previous live streams, to the Marines, to the Army, to the Air Force, to the Coast Guard, uh, and and to the agricultural of Steens Mountain. I didn't say this or created this or fabricated or alter these documents. These documents are for you, the American people, to educate yourself. And where is that, where is that saying? You can go into Public Law 107-20, July 24 of 2001, which goes hand in hand with the Senate, uh, Senate Bill 3052, which is dated on 9-14 of 2000. I didn't create or fabricate that. That's for you, the American people, to educate yourself, especially if you really and truly care about our military. So when they say they are fight, that our military is fighting for freedom, are they? Whose best interests are they fighting for? But most of all, why is the BLM so adamant with the U.S. force and the Department of Wish of, and Wish of the Depart U.S. United States Forestry Service with the Department of Fish and Wildlife so adamant and wanting to steal land? from the ranchers and Native Americans where all these minerals are located for the simple fact that they want to extract these minerals and profit from these minerals at the same time like Greg Brensing that, that's taking uranium uh, to uh, internationally and putting our military in danger that's why that's your answer and this is why you won't hear MSNBC, CBS, anything that do related to George Soros and Media Matters you won't hear them talk about this you, you'll never hear it from them. The only way you're going to hear it is for people like myself and, uh, and other people that are researchers like Thomas Robert Lacavera, Brian Lang, Light Truth Radio, Resurrect the Republic, Amelia Dur uh, Duran, Poor Hold of Justice. I mean, there's a lot of people, William Wagner, Wiley Drake, uh, uh, Christopher Bruce. There's a lot of people, D David Hodge, uh, uh, Stephen, uh, Steve Floyd from Alaska. Uh, there's a lot of alternative media out there that we do when we do the research and we give the information out. But unfortunately, some people don't want to take this, uh, this burden because at the end of the day, it's, it's basically a death sentence when you start exposing like Senator Ron Wyden tied to the Clinton Foundation and John Podesta and the Uranium One and, and, and Barrett Gold Inc. and Calico Resource and Harry Reid and Rory Reid. Uh, it, the, the information is so there and it's so blatant, yeah, they want to come after Donald J. Trump, a 45th president for impeachment that's colluding with Russia when these criminals are the ones that are colluding. How is that possible? Including Robert Mueller that's had spearheading this investigation against Donald J. Trump in which he took highly enriched uranium to Russia in which I stated in multiple of my live streams. But if I am lying, then why are they allocating money, compensation? And, and again, I'm going to say it. On Jan January 24, 2017, Senate, uh, Senate 197 Radiation Exco Exposure Compensation Act that is tied to the 2000 Energy Employees Occupation Illness. And why do they include all, all five branches of the, a branch of the military, including Steens Mountain? But to those also, and by the way, Arizona, you're not immune to this. South Carolina, as I stated earlier, you're not immune to this. New Mexico, Dusa, New Mexico, you are definitely not immune to this. And especially those people in Dusa, New Mexico, in which you're under, under uh, the reservation, your water is contaminated. And this is why the, most of the Native Americans are, 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 uh, are, are def unfortunately deformed or, or have mental issues for the simple fact that they have been drinking ra uh, water that's been, uh, that has radiation. And you won't hear from your government. And you won't hear from Karen Suckling from the Center of Biological Diversity that supposedly allegedly is looking out for the best interests of the endangered species and we already know the endangered species in Arizona, New Mexico, in Nevada, in Oregon, in California it has nothing to do with that it's about stealing the land of the ranchers and Native Americans for profit for the minerals that are underneath the ground point blank period and the only way we're going to educate the American people and continue to educate the American people is for you to forward this live stream and share this live stream. At the end of the day, these Senate bills were introduced by people that you, that supposedly or allegedly representing you, the American people. So when you go out tonight on Friday and party and you have your smoke, your groove on, your dancing shoes, 
there's somebody overseas fighting because we have traitors within the Republic that are supposedly representing the United States of America. So I'm going to repeat those Senate bills. That's Senate Bill 197, Radiation Exposure Act, Compensation Act. Uh, that's tied to Public Law 107-20, July 24, 2001, and Senate, and Senate Bill 30, uh, 3052, uh, uh, the 9th, 14th of 2000, in conjunction with December, with Dece December 2011, SPR 686, the effects of radiation, uranium. And by the way, it also goes hand in hand with Senate Bill uh, with Senate Bill S1113 and HR4402, affecting Steams Mountain. I don't want you to take my word for it. I want you to research it. As a matter of fact, the research has been done for you. All you need to do is open that link, save it in a PDF file, and read it. It's all there. And if you truly believe in our military, don't you think you should be sharing this live stream with our, with our veterans and our current servicemen and women? What about the effects when they have an offspring? The effects will be there. And if you don't think the effects won't be there, then I advise you and strongly advise you to read SPR 686 dated December 2011. It's all there. So this is why I did this live stream because I just, could, I, I just can't. There's some things you just can't. You just can't let go. You can't just go back and sleep at night without having a conscience. And I know Facebook is probably blocking me, shadow banning me, just like they did to Alex Jones and other alternative uh, media like Deplor uh, uh, was it, uh, De Deplorable Deb. I mean, they'll continue to do whatever it takes to silence the American people, violating our First Amendment. And as I've articulated in the, in the past, let these criminals go ahead after Donald J. Trump in regards to the impeachment hearings. I want to go to Ron Wyden himself and personally ask him, how in the hell does he have the gall to go after our, our, our 45th president when he himself in 2013 sat there with Lisa Murkowski from the state of Alaska, a Republican, and Markham or Dean Heller, a Republican from Nevada, knowingly and willfully knew that the Clinton Foundation was going to transfer uranium as Hillary was a Secretary of State to Russia. And that's in 2013 hearing. And that hearing confirmation was for, for Ernesto Nunez in 2013. He's a, he is, uh, was uh, the, 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 the director of the Department of Energy, the DOE, in which Ron Wyden himself was part of that subcommittee, in which I, I let, allowed the transfer of uranium to Russia for the Clinton Foundation. But these are the facts. At the end of the day, if you really truly care about our military, again, I strongly advise you to share this. Despite me being shadow banned, move it forward. The more the American people understand what's happening, the more, and not just understanding, but educate our military, the better we are off. Including the Native Americans and the ranchers. Because Native Americans are being affected with this uranium under federal lands because at the end of the day they are anywhere that they're going to extract uranium they're going to make it your uh, federal lands public lands and we all know that's just a fraud it's a fraud that is, that, that is being uh, imposed against our ranchers and native americans for wall street for de shaw for merrill lynch for whoever you want who, all, all the other investment corporations that are entitled to the minerals and by the way, D.E. Shaw, Adam Wyden, uh, uh, the father of Ron Wyden, or I mean the son of Ron Wyden. I know you guys are connected already. And I already know how much millions you've already made since the creation of your hedge fund. So at the end of the day, to the American people, it's up to you to know the truth. So uh, to our military... To our children, to our grandchildren, uh, God bless our republic, and I truly hope uh, the American people will decide to wake up and just circulate the information, especially for those that, that probably beat your chest of the red, white, and blue when you have servicemen and women that are American serving our country, that are being affected 
by also traders like John McCain that aided in the betting of arming of ISIS, including Benghazi and the uranium deal. So thank you and God bless.